So when you learn completing a square, a lot of times you'll learn it with many steps in it. And the problem is this can take quite a long time and it can make it a big hassle. So in this video, I want to talk about a faster way to complete the square. So let's start out the regular way that you probably learned in class, which is that you start by writing out this, and then you take the number next to the x plus 8, you take half of it, which is plus 4. Okay, so that's probably the same way you start in class. But right now, let's check what this equals. So what is x plus 4 squared? So if you FOIL that all out, you would get x squared plus 8x plus 16. Okay, so we see that the first two terms match, x squared and x squared. We see the second two terms match, 8x and 8x. The only thing that's off is the last numbers there at the end. I got 16, but I don't want to get 16. I just want to get 10. So here's where we can speed up the process. All we do is we say, I know if I took x plus 4 squared, my first two terms would match, but my last one wouldn't. I would get 16 when I wanted 10. Well, that's fine. How do you turn 16 into 10? You subtract 6. So let's try another one. So now we'll take x squared minus 10x plus 5. So let's start the same way. So I take the number next to the x, the negative 10. I take half of it, and I put that squared. So again, if you take the time to FOIL this out, you would get x squared minus 10x plus 25. So just like last time, the first two terms match. The x squared minus 10x, those match. The things that don't match is I got a 25, but I only want 5. Again, that's fine. How do I turn 25 into 5? I subtract 20. And there we go. We've completed the square. So at this point, it may not be obvious that this is faster than whatever you learned in class. But let's see why it is faster. So let's take another example here. We'll take 8x plus 5. OK, so start out the same. I'll take x plus 4 squared, because 4 is half of 8. Now. In the last two examples, I squared this out and I checked that the first two terms match. But you don't need to do that. They're always going to match. That's why we pick x plus 4. So the only thing that might not match is the number at the end. So I'm going to have 4 squared at the end, which is 16. I don't want 16, though. I want 5. How do I turn 16 into 5? I subtract 11. And there we go. We've completed the square. OK, let's do it again. So let's take x squared minus 12x plus 6. OK, I start out the same way. I do half of negative 12 is negative 6. I know that negative 6 squared is going to be 36. I don't want 36. I want 6. So I need to subtract 30 to make them match. And there we go. We've completed the square. So hopefully you see that this is really a faster way to complete the square and can really save you time on homework and on tests. Having said that, there are times when this doesn't work so well. And really, the only time that you're going to get into trouble is when you've got an odd number next to the x. And it would still work. It's just much slower and probably much harder to do in your head. The reason is, as soon as you take half of 5, you either have to deal with a fraction or if you prefer to write it as decimals, you have to deal with the decimal. And now you're having to do in your head 5 halves squared, or 2.5 squared. And then you're having to adjust it to make it become 1. It certainly isn't impossible, but it's much harder to do in your head. But in fact, you can still do with the fractions. And it's just because 5 halves squared is going to be 25 over 4. I don't want 25 over 4. I want 1. And 1, of course, is the same thing as 4 over 4. So to get from 25 over 4 to 4 over 4, I need to subtract 21 over 4. And there we go. I still was able to complete the square. So I hope that helps. If you have questions or if there's other topics you want me to talk about, please feel free to leave a comment below. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll keep putting out great videos for you. Thanks, everyone, and have a good one.